Hey everyone, it's Bonnie from Healthy Meals. Um, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite recipes. I love this. It takes a little while to cook, but you have no idea how excited I am. I found an artichoke in Texas. It's huge. Sprouts, I love you. This is, it, it used to be one of my foods that I really, I was looking at this sucker going, I'm not going to try this. Are you crazy? And thanks to my beautiful friend Nikki, she taught me not only how to eat it, but um, how to cook it. And so I'm going to share with you how to do this. Now, I'm going to do this really quick. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour to either steam or boil this. Um, I don't really have a metal steamer on me, so we are going to boil this puppy, um, which is going to make it nice and, nice and soft and... Mm gonna be just delicious and then what you were really gonna learn today is not how to cook or eat an artichoke um, that's not the main focus although you will learn that um, because that's one of the things you just got to learn if you're gonna eat this if you're even gonna try it um, right now sprouts has these on sale it's good good recipe just to try out and see if you like it before you order it in a restaurant so you chop the bottom of this puppy off now the top these are really spiky Okay, so a lot of times what you can do is you just chop the top off. Um, what I like to do is I just chop this top little bit. As you can see, it is not easy. Here, let's see if we can get a bigger knife for that. Yeah. We'll use our knife, our little Sudoku knife. It is not an easy vegetable to cut through. I will tell you that. There are a lot of layers. Lots and lots of layers, see? Now, here's the other thing, people. Do not, do not, under any circumstances, put this puppy in your garbage disposal. One of the first times I made this, I tried that. Um, I don't know that my friend JC, who was my roommate at the time, will ever forgive me for that. It was pretty brutal. So anyway, so this is what it looks like up at the top. As it boils and as it steams, it's going to open up. And then you've got the bottom. Now you have two ways of doing this, either lemon juice or a real lemon, okay? I'm going to move you a little closer so that you can see what I'm about to do. So I've got the water on it. It's just starting to bubble here. See the little bubbles? It's not really boiling heavy just yet. Okay, guys. So we've got our hot pot. Um, what we're going to do is we're basically going to let this pretty much steam. So we're going to turn the heat down just slightly we had it on high I'm turning it down to a medium here's the deal we're going to use lemon juice today so you pour a little lemon juice over the top you want it to really soak in to that bottom piece and then this top part we're just pouring lemon juice over the entire top now as you can see it's going into the pot so here we go once it hits the water, let it go. It bobbles, it wobbles, it sits, it soaks, it's really cool. And I will show you in a second because I know you, all you can see is the steam and the little green. Um, I'm not going to cover this. See? It just floats in the water just like that. So whether you're steaming it, whether you're boiling it, um, the pieces that you're going to eat are going to just float. Now, the lemon juice that we poured over it is inside. Now, when I use just regular lemon, I drop it in, I let it float, and then I just stick the lemon pieces on top, a couple of slices. Then that way as it steams, it starts pulling in more and more of the lemon. Right now what's going on is there's this little bucket that's been created by all these little folds. Like you can see all the little leaves that are around here. And that bucket is now holding the lemon juice, which is going to soak into the fruit. It just it makes it amazingly delicious. So we're going to put the timer for, I usually do... 55 minutes, um, I turn off the heat and then I let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. I have a tendency to undercook this because I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. So let's let it cook. We will come back to the artichoke. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, I know I'm going to pronounce this wrong and I apologize to every Greek individual out there, but tzatziki sauce. Um, it's the cucumber yogurt dip it is absolutely fabulous with artichokes with cucumbers with whatever you want to put it on uh, we're going to use some greek yogurt uh, very whole very pure very natural and 
very good for your body. So let's get on and uh, let this artichoke cook and we'll move on to our dip. Okay everybody, so we're moving on to our cucumber dip. Um, so here is my trash bowl. We know we need that. So all we need really is a quarter cup of cucumber gratings. So since we have this nice big cucumber, which by the way, 62 cents at the grocery store for this mamma jamma. Look at this puppy. Look. See how long that sucker is? It's huge. So obviously we don't need that much. So that's how much we're going to have. We're going to take our peeler and we're just going to peel it. Because we don't want cucumber peel in our dip. We want cucumber peel in the trash bin, which actually here, since we have it, let me show you. So you've got your nice cool little bowl right there, just right here, so while you're shredding your cucumber, it just goes straight into the trash bowl. I'm going to do it the way that it's quicker for me. My mother didn't teach me to go away. She tried. You know, she she really tried to get that peeler to go away from your body, not towards your body. And uh, well, yeah. okay, guys. So we have our peeled cucumber. We only need a quarter of a cup. We're gonna chop this up as tiny as possible. Um, the grater I was hoping to use is just not gonna work for us. So we've got nice little, and you know, a lot of the tzatziki. Um, dips have some cucumber chunks in it, so we just need to cut these nice and small. Very similarly to how you would potatoes, you know, just on a mini scale. So we get nice cute little cucumbers. Oh, look how tiny those puppies are. And then all I'm going to do, because I only want to chop these up, I mean pretty much once they're chopped up, I'm not going to use them. I'm going to use the rest of it in like salads and stuff like that. Um, maybe we'll do like cucumber boats tomorrow. We haven't made cucumber boats yet. Alright, so let's see. We need a little bit more. So, Besides, if you know that you're eating cucumber chunks in a dip and you know that you're the one that put them in there, I don't know, it just doesn't... It doesn't feel as bad going into my mouth when I'm eating chunks of food because I know how it was prepared, I know I washed my hands, I know where the cucumber has been, I know the cucumber was washed before I started chopping it and peeling it. Oh, there you go. Perfect. That is exactly what we need right there. So the rest of this cucumber is going to be nice and delicious in a salad. I'll think about this. We'll get something really good going for this weekend. Um, so you guys can have a nice little cucumber dish we have left over. Might as well use it, right? So we're going to take the other cucumber and put it in here. Set that aside. Trash goes in the trash container. Put it on this counter. Alright, so let's get our bowl. Get our little whisk here. And let's make some dip. Alright, so we need our yogurt, um, we need a thing of dill, and some garlic. I have some garlic cloves here, but I don't think they're very good, so we're just not going to, we're not going to include those today. We're going to use some um, garlic powder. So here's our bowl, plain old brown cow Greek yogurt, it was on sale. For $1.19 over at Sprouts, which is why I got it. Um, this is 80 calories. Where's the sugars? Six grams of sugar. I mean, this is about as natural as you can get. And yogurt's really good. If you have any stomach problems, um, yogurt actually is the natural cure for gas, flatulence. It's the natural cure for. Um, diarrhea for anything. It has probiotics in it, which if you don't know what probiotics are, I know they're talking about them left and right nowadays. Um, probiotics are the little bacteria that grow in our food, and it's not, ooh, gross bacteria that's going to get us sick. It's 
you know, there are live cultures. That's the bacteria that we're talking about, our live cultures. Well, these live cultures, what they do is they work with the bacteria that we hold in our stomach to help digest our food. Well, by working with that food, or by working with those, it gets rid of the bad bacteria, so it eats up the bad bacteria, but keeps the good bacteria. So the bad bacteria would be like, let's say you go to McDonald's and you have, you know, a burger. Well, the oils and the, the chemicals and stuff that are in that burger, the pink slime aspect of it, well, that pink slime, the bad stuff gets eaten up by your yogurt, your, bac your good bacteria that are in there. And it's almost like having a little gang. The gang that helps keep you healthy in your tummy is your natural bacteria, which just grows in your body. There's nothing you can do about it. It's part of our digestion. It's part of that acid that sits in our stomach. And some probiotics. If you're allergic to yogurt, they have soy yogurt out now. They have a bunch of, um, I think it's almond yogurt and rice yogurt. And the, the probiotics that you're looking for are still sitting in that yogurt. It's just a different form. So you're not going to get it from a dairy form, you're going to get it from something else. So if you're lactose intolerant, if you've chosen or need to go casein free, you have some options. Alright, so we just need, I, I put the quarter cup of cucumber in. Um, we just need a little bit, like a teaspoon of garlic. We really don't need a lot. And then here is the trick, dill. I went to three stores and could not find fresh dill. This is one of those recipes that if you have the opportunity to use fresh dill, it is super cheap. It is normally readily available. I don't know what's going on around here, but um, normally it's readily available and it's the key ingredient. So the cucumber, the plain yogurt, and then the dill. So we need a tablespoon of this. So we're going to sprinkle a lot of it in here. There we go. All right. So can you see? And then all we do is mix it together. I mean, what I usually do is I eyeball it. Um, you can tell when you have enough dill in here. I'm going to put a little bit more in. It looks like I can, I can do a little bit more. Plus, I like the dill and the, the like flavor mixture of the two. Oh, it's delicious. Um, if you need something just to keep in your fridge, this, because it's yogurt, will actually keep for a good week. Um, so if you want, you can get a big thing of one of the big ones instead of just the individual. All we needed really was six to eight ounces. This is 5.3 ounces, so it was perfect. Um, and voila, that's it. All we have to do is wait for our artichoke. Um, I will come back, I'll show you how to eat that. But otherwise, this lovely dip, you can eat it with your cucumbers. You can have it with your salad. You can um, get a little tortilla out. Um, I know they call it pita bread, but if you get a very thin pita bread or you know one of the other breads that are out there, tortillas, and put some protein on it, put some tomatoes, some cucumbers, um, any other you know lettuce, veggies that you want. Wrap it up with this. Oh, it is! It's going to be your great treat, regardless of the seasonings that you put on your meat. Um, so I'll see you guys in a little bit, and I hope you get the chance to try this before the artichoke's done. Yum, yum forgot to mention guys, this dip is actually really good if you make it and you put it in the refrigerator for about 15-20 minutes. It's good to go just by making it as long as all the ingredients are cold. But since we're waiting for some veggies anyway, I'm going to stick this puppy in the refrigerator, let it chill for a little bit, and soak up all of its um, good flavor. So you want to see the finished product? So here we have our artichoke. See how it's kind of opened up a little bit? Um, I have let it cool, which is how I am able to pick it up. I would highly recommend you do the same. See how those are just kind of falling off. So what you want to do is you want to have a little plate, something that's just big enough for this. Now typically what you do is you put it on this little plate. This is what they do in restaurants. You have that little plate and then you have a big one. Okay. You take the little one and you put it on the big one. And then the big one is where you throw all your your little leaves. See how easily that comes off? So you just gently pull it. Not any big deal. See this white part here? That's the part you're going to eat. So here's how this works. Dip it in. Now we have a yogurt dip. We've used um, plain old yogurt. So you can lather that puppy up. Put a lot of it on there. 
All right. And then here is how you eat it, people. All right, let me show you this, and I have to apologize. I look like crap today. But you know what? I think you can deal with it. Um, all right. So you take your artichoke. See that? And it's the bottom of your teeth. These. And it just scrapes the white off. I got it. It's amazing. Mm, okay. I told a friend I would... Uh, Wait for her, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. So anyway, so once you get to the center of this, what ends up happening, and I'll throw up a picture uh, once we're done eating this, but you get to the center, you get to the heart of this, and you can chop it up and you can eat it. And it's it's very much, sorry, I'm definitely going to eat another one of these. Oh, it's amazing. Um, so when I get to the center, I will show that to you. I'll pin that up um, so that you have that video as well. Okay. So destruction is done, the avocado, or I mean avocado, oh, artichoke is done, we've got all the leaves off of it. So this is what it looks like once you get inside of it. Um, this is the heart, this is the part that you want to eat, it is absolutely delicious. Um, that's the part that you find in the uh, cans. So I just want to peel this, I want to show you what's inside of it. So you got to peel the top of this completely off. Um, and you can see it just it pulls off really nicely. So once you get below all these leaves, what you have is it looks like um, it's little spindles. Okay. Now the thing is, is you don't want to eat those little spindles. These things, I don't know if you can see see how spindly they are. They're gross. Um, I would love to be able to tell you they are not, but um, this is not true. So what I usually do is you'll take a fork and you just kind of scrape it off. Um, if you can really get in there with the edge of your fork, it'll peel away. So see that? This is the part that screws up your garbage disposal. So you just kind of scrape around. Um, I use a fork, not a knife, cause just because most times it's easier than cutting it. It looks like this time, um, this time the spindles are, are very, very tough to pull out. Normally it's a lot easier. So we're going to take a little knife and just cut it. Um, So it's almost like um, a cone shape that you have inside. So if you can just pull them away, that's better. You get more of the heart that you can eat. There we go. Let's cut this puppy off. There. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to dump this part. And there we go. So all you do with this, so we wipe down our knife so that we don't eat any spindly parts that are just hanging around. And usually this is the bit where my friends and I are fighting to get this, to eat this part of the artichoke. Um, and what you want to do is whatever leftover you have, um, I usually eat this just plain because it's just that good. Um, but you can have, take some of your yogurt dip, and because it's yogurt, because it's low fat, you can take a little bit of this right there, mix all this stuff up, and you just eat it as is. So, there you go. That's how you eat an artichoke. That's how you enjoy an artichoke. It is very refreshing, especially in the summer if, um, you guys try this. I want to hear what you think. I want to hear what your recipe sounds like. If you eat it with an artichoke, if you eat it with cucumber, um, if you've made any of the other recipes, tell me. Let me know what your experience is. If you have any add-ons or, you know, if you found a way to do it that's even better. Let's hear it. Um, enjoy your artichoke today. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Friday. And I will see you all tomorrow.